How is this year going by so fast? I, I st Anyways. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Drielli here. Today I have another plan with me video. This is going to be for week 29. So today I decided to do something a little bit different with this uh, weekly layout. Some of you guys mentioned in the comment that I was decorating my planner uh, too heavily and I didn't leave a lot of space for you guys to write. And it's true, <laughs> I don't need a lot of space. I just use my uh, weekly logs for my daily goal, which is just one. So I don't need a lot of space, but I wanted to be considerate. I know some of you guys do not use the planner as I do. You might wanna use your planners for tasks or for multiple goals. So I wanted to come up with a layout that works best for some of you that want to write it a bit more on your layouts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this layout if you do leave a like and if you're new here welcome i hope you consider subscribing to this channel i make videos every monday through friday and i'd love to see you here for the next one but without rambling too much let's get started all right guys so i got my insert here um the first thing that i like to do when i'm starting my weekly log i like to bring my ruler and my mechanical pencil and uh, i like to mark it out uh, on both sides of the page where i'm going to draw the lines that separate the days and i like to do that um, just because it's just easier for me to draw the lines and uh, you know avoiding to make any crooked lines which is always a plus <laughs> Anyway, so uh, once I mark on both sides, I just come in with my uh, Pigma Micron 01 pen and I just draw those lines. And uh, if you have watched any of my Plan With Me videos, you know that already. But if you are new here, um, I like to start marking the pages from the bottom up. And uh, the reason being is because the top of the page, it's usually more than an inch left over so i usually like to start marking from the bottom so that way whatever it is left over which is about a, a inch and a quarter i use uh to how you say what i want to say i use it as my weekly um title so i indicate what week of the what week number that is if it's week 28 29 you, you get the gist right but anyway so once i'm done drawing the lines then i can go ahead and start decorating my pages now for this week i decided to go with an airmail um theme and uh, you're gonna notice like i said in the beginning of the video i am going to uh, limit myself on the amount of decoration for this layout. I just wanted to test it out something a bit different this week uh, Especially for you guys that use the planner a little bit differently than I do like I mentioned before my planning um, is style is just to use that as my daily goal um, I you know, I I truly believe in being very focused and very intentional um, on your life and uh, that goes along with uh, how I plan um, and uh, I'm not taking credit for this I got that idea from the book that I read and I mentioned that book several times you, you guys are probably sick of hearing me <laughs> talking about this book but I mean I highly recommend the book is called The One Thing by uh, Gary Keller it's a very good book if you are into reading and if you are into goal setting planning you're definitely gonna like that book. Um, it goes into details about how setting up your goals and how to focus in one thing at a time instead of spreading your attention into several different things and end up not doing anything well or doing too much stuff that don't matter. So it really makes you to focus. So with that idea in mind, I take it to heart and uh, I only have a goal a month and I only have a goal a day. And uh, that goal, that daily goal, usually it is a goal that's gonna help me achieve my monthly goal. I don't believe in yearly goals. I think it's too far out. Um, it's not a 
you know, it's not approachable, it's not reachable. I think it's too far out. Things change throughout the year, but monthly goals work for me. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's why I use my planner for, that's why I personally don't need a lot of space because I only use my planner for my goals, for my daily goal. Uh, but I know some of you might not be using that planner for the same purpose. You might be using for tasks um, or for multiple goals and that's fine. So I wanted to be mindful and uh, come up with a layout that would work for you guys as well. So I decided to go with an air mail theme and uh, I'm just using some washi tapes, those washi tapes, both of them I got at Michael's. It's from the same package. It comes from a package um, from the recollections. I got it very recently so you if you have a Michaels near you you might still find it um, it's just an air mail themed uh, washi tape and uh, I grabbed an envelope from one of my uh, antique shop endeavors <laughs> I grabbed this a uh, bundle envelope bundle that they had it uh, with a bunch of like antique envelopes and there's a lot of like air mail thin envelopes in this bundle so I grabbed one of them that I already had removed all the postage stamps and I'm just using that envelope uh, to decorate the page so you're gonna see me grabbing a little piece oh my god what I'm saying a little piece <laughs> Sorry about that. A little piece of it and I'm gonna include that on the bottom of the page um, And sorry is a little bit out of a, a frame there. I think I end up fixing later on but uh, you notice that it's very um, narrow the the paper the piece of paper that I use on the bottom and I'm gonna use another um, bit of the same envelope and use on the top where I dedicate that a uh, portion for the uh, title of the week and I'm gonna use that to write the the title so I'm just you know ripping the envelope to size just so it, I can fit it Oh, I can't talk today what's happening <laughs> so it can fit <laughs> sorry guys I am doing this voiceover in the middle of the afternoon and uh, my studio is very hot like <laughs> it's so hot in here and I cannot turn on my um, my fan because it's very loud so I'm sweating and I'm not thinking properly <laughs> anyways moving on so I just grabbed this a piece of ephemera that I got from Skylar Hen Studio um, I'll link on the screen here uh, my haul that I did it from her I I grabbed a lot of very amazing vintage pieces from her so if you haven't had the chance to watch that video I'll link it above here on the screen so you can check it out later um, but yeah, I'm using some of the postage stamps that I also got from her um, that says air mail. So I mean, keeping up with the whole theme. And uh, yeah, but this uh, this is gonna be pretty much it. It's gonna be a very simple layout. Now, if you wanna go a little bit crazy on the layout, you can add some um, stamps and things like that. But I wanted, like I said, I wanted to give you guys as much space to write it as possible and uh, that's a good option um you know if you want to still decorate somehow in your uh, weekly log but without adding too much um, ephemera to it so you still have space that's a good option just to you know limit of the amount of papers that you use and things like that but anyways i'm coming with two of my uh tombow brush pens i'm using the other side which the nib is not as uh, large and i'm gonna use it to write the numbers but i'm coming with the red one so i'm gonna use a red and blue one and um uh, i'm gonna use the large portion of the brush pen with the red to write the number the 29 to indicate that that's the week 29 and then i'm gonna use um the you know the other portion of the brush pen that it's a little uh, smaller nib and i'm gonna write the word week and also all the dates of the week and then i'm just gonna come in with uh, one of my pens i'm gonna use the lap pen uh today is just a very um bold ink black ink it's a japanese company i really love this pen i 
I usually get them um, on Amazon. It's super cheap and uh, it's a great pen. It doesn't bleed, so it's perfect if you're writing in a thin paper. And then you notice that I abbreviated the days of the week just to, you know, take a, as little space as possible. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna bring in close so you guys can take a look uh, of all the details, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, layout. If you did, leave a like. And if you have any suggestions or questions, leave it down below. But thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. And uh, take some time to journal this weekend and enjoy yourself. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. A short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoy. But bye for now.